Contrary to popular belief, the Warren Buffett portfolio is actually a fairly high-risk portfolio. In this video, we'll check out its components, historical performance, and the best ETFs to use for it. Hey guys, John Williamson here, OptimizedPortfolio.com, investing in personal finance. What is the Warren Buffett portfolio? Hopefully Warren Buffett needs no introduction. He is arguably the most successful investor in history, among other things, consistently outperforming the market historically. Don't let this fool you though. Buffett is the first to admit that retail investors should keep it simple and invest in an S&P 500 index fund. Warren Buffett himself has never actually written any books, but if you're interested in his style of investing, he has stated that his favorite book is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, an excellent introductory resource on value investing. The recent revised edition contains some great commentary by the legendary Jason Zweig. You can also find the famous collection of Warren Buffett's letters to shareholders over 30 plus years. The Warren Buffett portfolio became famous when, in a 2013 letter to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, Buffett indicated that upon his passing, the trustee of his estate will invest 90% of his wife's inheritance in a low-cost index fund and 10% in short-term government bonds. Note that Buffett admits that this specific allocation may not be suitable for everyone. More risk-averse investors will likely prefer a lower allocation to equities. Interestingly, recent research from Javier Estrada, professor of finance at the IESE Business School in Barcelona, Spain, suggests that Buffett's prescribed 90-10 allocation may actually not be as risky as it appears at first glance. Estrada looked at 86 different 30-year intervals between 1900 and 2014 and found that at a typical 4% withdrawal rate in retirement, Buffett's 90-10 portfolio had an extremely low failure rate of only 2.3%, only slightly worse than the traditional conservative 60-40 stocks bonds portfolio. The Warren Buffett portfolio is as follows, 90% U.S. large cap stocks and 10% short-term treasury bonds. If I'm nitpicking, I'd prefer to see some small allocation to international ex-US stocks and small cap value stocks, but history has shown that indexing the S&P 500 is a solid investment. I'm also of the mind that young investors should be using long or intermediate term treasury bonds over short term treasury bonds. Going back to 1977, here's a comparison of the Warren Buffett portfolio and the S&P 500 through 2019. As we'd expect, the results have been very close with the Warren Buffett portfolio achieving a slightly higher risk-adjusted return as measured by Sharp, due to the diversification benefit of the inclusion of short-term treasuries. Using entirely low-cost Vanguard funds, we can construct the Warren Buffett portfolio with the following ETFs, VOO at 90% and VGSH at 10%. I'll include a link to a pie for M1 Finance for the Warren Buffett portfolio. The broker makes regular rebalancing seamless and easy with one click, has zero transaction fees, and incorporates dynamic rebalancing for new deposits. I'll also include a link to my comprehensive review of M1. I am long VOO in my own portfolio. 